Hello everyone, this is Anaway Joe here. We're playing a Vorian online campaign video number seven. First thing I would like to start off uh, based on the last video. Thank you everybody for your comments uh, that you did. Also voting is up. Uh, it is in my community page. Sorry, I think I misspoke about that. And the, the vote right now going on is 50-50. We got one vote one way and one vote the other way. Should we go to the center and do PvP, or should we go into the unknown for myself, into the rift, so see what we can find out. Um, I was going to make it only for subscribers, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. So actually, I'm going to open up everybody. Go ahead and go vote. And hopefully even if uh, you vote and you know, stuff like that in the future, maybe you want to see it, and then you'll subscribe that way. It's up to you, everybody. But feel free to do what you'd like to do all right we're gonna dip into this next video here uh, I'm still focusing on economy uh, I will be doing some fighting hopefully this video mainly trying to find that uh, uh, other couple other couple of uh, mining stones to try to keep my economy up get my economy up and running the way I want so I still need to find a few uh, asteroids to do that a couple of things I wanted to go over and wanted to talk about was again we I did say I uh, thank you for the comments it they they really get me thinking of something and some things that I uh, didn't think about and this is what I'm gonna go and kind of talk about them in the video I did respond to those messages but also I also uh, text might not come off the best way First off, thank you for the idea of, I think what I'm going to try to do is, I keep making all these ranky dink uh, <laughs> build shacks, I'm going to call them, uh, basically uh, stations. Well, I did all that hard work on the 31 and 1 stations, um, and I view it as a late game. And what I mean by a late game, it was set up to basically, <clears throat> how am I gonna word that? Um, only really need, be needed to be in late game. There, there we go, we'll go with that. So it didn't occur to me I could use it in say this sector. I'm putting a lot of stations in here. I do want them protected. Obviously, I'm putting a lot of time, effort, resources, that gold bullion. And the goal is to create an economy that's going to last, which allows me to go to basically war. And that's my ultimate goal. But if you have a weak economy, go to war and lose, well, it's going to uh, cripple you. Kind of like how I lost my fob in the Onaway Joe campaign. Um, I did recover eventually, but it took a while for me to recover back. So learning from that mistake and whatnot, you know, taking in consideration, uh, you know, why don't I use the 31 and one stations? So some of the ideas were like, well, I don't want to use it because, well, it has, uh, orange or organite and avorian in there. Well, there's replacement parts for all that. I can go with, like, say, trinium for something, or neonite, or titanium, and switch out those parts. The end all, the main design behind the 31 in 1 station, that build, it, what took so long is actually the design, how it worked, and how it built. So, could I reduce, could I change it up, the build? I'm going to be jumping around here and uh be looking for yellow asteroids as i'm talking about this i think i'm gonna jump over here so i can light up the stuff that i haven't explored yet be right back so i went in ahead and jumped into the area found a bunch of yellow dots jumped into one looks like we got some rare items let's see if we can find an asteroid or whatnot in the meantime i'm going to talk a little bit more about the 31 and one station uh about changing the resources I didn't really occur to me so I could actually build it in earlier sectors uh, but that also occurred to me yes I could do that yes it would take some time to make sure that the parts work 
Um, I'm not, I'm not going to like run out of power on it, for instance. Um, but uh, it is possible. Then it came to the second idea is this. That's a lot of mats. So that's 30 million some mats and plus. So it definitely could be done, but would it be worth this early in the game where I don't really have the capability to farm that? So that means I'm trying to work on my economy and build this sector up. That's my goal right now to make it make me more gold. Is it worth me to invest, stop doing that and change and start investing more in my miners to get them up to par to be able to farm 30 million plus mats and then build my economy? So that's the kind of the idea. And what I'm thinking is the answer is no. Okay, I didn't see a large asteroid in here. I might have missed it, but I'm thinking there's containers in this or loot. Uh, that's why I have a, a valuable target, but I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on to the next, uh, whoop, the next yellow sector right here. And we're going to continue that conversation over there. Be right back. We got a little bit of firefight, but I will be talking about uh, the 31 and 1 stations as I fight this, as you enjoy me massacring these people. Just like that. Okay. <clears throat> so... I answered basically no, that I do not want to work on my mining fleet so heavily where I have to stop building my economy. I think the economy right now is what I want to focus on to actually even help build my mining more, for instance. so. My mining is pretty decent, but it's not to the caliber that's going to be needed to be able to get 30 million or anytime soon. So then my next kind of thought process was, well, I did build the 31 stations and wall sections, various things, and I'm very familiar with those. And those would be way more affordable. So... What I came to conclusion is the kind of a third thought or third point I responded to is I think I'm going to start by building a wall of it. So it's a smaller, it still saves, it still serves the same purpose of the 31 in one station, the wall. It will, the wall itself is going to cost more resources, yes, but. It will offer still significantly more defense of the partner stations. The same. It's not going to be as the same as obviously the giant, the full size cube, but it's going to be still more. It's also going to still serve the purpose of uh, keeping all my stations in the same spot, which is, you know, helps with me uh, moving parts around or various things like I like. So it still has that benefit. So that's the option and thing I think I'm going to do. So I won't be doing it in this video, but I'll be working probably offline to try to, because it's going to take a little bit of work. I need to convert uh, the parts of the wall basically to include resources that I currently have, which is up to Trinium right now. So I got to remove the Avorian, Organite, and Ax Axion to be able to put it in the game. So, But I can do that. And I think it will be pretty close to the capability of what I have for carrying the resources um, that my mining fleet can carry. So th I think that is a very good uh, compromise. And I always can add more walls. Uh up to even basically um, making a full station. So it looks like we cleared this sector real quick. I'm going to talk about that. And it looks like I got one of those bleaking uh, Exodus uh, mission things. I'm going to fly over there. 
a lot of times I found if we have a valley build target they're usually around the valley build target which is the that blinking beat gun so if I drive up to it hopefully it will give me the what's the word I'm looking for the that valuable item and then it and of course then I'll scan briefly the asteroid field to see if we can find that asteroid which is actually what I'm looking for so that's what I'm gonna do it's going to be some offline play to do that but I'm looking to forward to doing that so thank you um, commenter for bringing that up I really appreciate that and it made me think and I like it I, I thank you keep bringing the comments I appreciate it it makes me think and you know it brings different content and that's exactly what I'm asking you to do and you appreciate it so next up um, one of my other content con um, con comments sorry comments they they said they used the trade market thing to find the subsystem which is let me show you real quick I think I have one uh, where did or maybe we do not right now well, a lot of weapons a lot of weapons um shoot did I miss it okay so I don't have one to show you but the trade system to basically um, find where say like there's a high demand and a uh, high price to get an item so like say anti grabs um, I'm trading a lot in this area they're bringing in pretty decent gold so if I build an anti grab uh, station it should bring me more higher price the issue I have with that and what I was trying to talk about in the last video which I didn't say is this I'm trying to create a whole economy and I'm gonna try to explain it I try to type it up but I don't think it came across possibly right so I want to talk about it in game to help put it in words better I am trying to create a whole economy using the tool section area and the reason why I'm trying to do that is I want a constant demand so like if you build an anti-grav generator like I'm using an example that demands gonna be filled which is gonna drive the price down a little bit okay and by driving the price down a little bit then it will kind of balance out and then it'll be basically the same price for you know anti-grafts what I'm attempting to do is to keep the demand constant and always going so I had six tool stations in that sector that want the same thing if I keep providing them the same thing which is known as I'm creating a supply all my stations are going to be in that state that sector so they're going to be constantly buying that so I have a steady demand for my product there are, yes there's going to be ships flying in and out of my sector buying things and, and also from the NPCs well I didn't see a real quick I'm gonna change up uh, I didn't see an asteroid so we're gonna to move to the next sector be right back and then we'll continue that conversation I am in the next sector Oh, a load of my farm supplies came in um, let's see I'm not seeing any white thing it looks like a scrap area not what I'm looking for right now so let's move to the next sector be right back it looks like another sector with good mining and, uh, and a giant station that got took out uh, doesn't look like there's any uh, reason to really look for an asteroid here so let's move on to the next one looks like we found another place to fight uh, so let's get a fight and continue the conversation about uh, <clears throat> my economy so basically what I'm trying to do is those six tool stations they need res resources so they create the demand they're demanding 
you know, the platinum, the silver, uh, steel, and I think it was uh, energy uh, things. If I can fulfill all six stations with two stations of each, say, to do that, I then fill their stations, meet their full demand to make tools, which is exactly what those stations purposes are. If I can continue to make sure that they make those tools, they will continue to accept that demand until oh a pirate my mothership we better see if we can take that out nice looks like we're doing pretty good damage um which then in turn if we are going to keep getting gold bullion until a couple things happen we fill up their their demand or their request for those items which is going to be harder than said than done due to um basically they're going to be keep making tools so they're going to be using those products so if they keep using those products then that means that i keep getting demand now the next thing is what if they fill up all the tools so their inventory fills up with making all the tools they can make. So if that's the case, then I can become their customer. So what that means is I switch roles and not just be just the supplier, I become the customer. I then buy their tools uh, and then take my infrastructure, my trade ships for instance to go sell those tools and maybe even get a profit which then reopens that demand to make sure that they keep uh that they keep uh buying my goods and then even if i take the tools and i sell let's say I t buy all their tools and it costs me a hundred million and I sell it for 90 million. Okay. The amount of money that I'm going to get back might be negative 10 million in the case I'm saying, but the amount of money of me selling my primary product, which is actually resources to those tool stations is going to easily make up that 10 million loss. But really in the case of how it works is I'm actually going to make a profit, say, of another 10 million off those tools. So I'm making a profit off of selling my resources, which is my primary thing. I'm meeting my their demand for me to keep the supply open, which is buying the tools and making a profit to sell those tools, meaning that they still need to buy my resources. That's the economy goal that I'm trying to meet. This is a more permanent uh, structure of economy than just plopping an asteroid in here or a couple stations here and there to kind of fill the thing. I'm creating a full on constant demand for my resources which is going to be like coming from my ore mines and the energy plants and steel factories i make then i'm also fulfilling th which then i am the seller then i'm turning around and saying to the people i'm selling i'm going to become the customer buy all the tools and then take that load off of their burden and go to sell all those tools now, I kind of give you a concept of who does this. Has anyone heard of a giant name called Amazon? <laughs> they might make some of their own products and turn around and sell it. Or, you know, buy other people's products and turn around and sell it. I'm kind of doing that. Another one way you can explain it is thinking in America, United States of America. 
unfortunately there's i feel but you know this is circumstantial but this is what i understand is happening they're selling are they're sending jobs overseas so they're creating jobs in other countries for cheaper price then they're taking those products that they're making and bringing it back over here and selling higher price things which then causes a constant demand and supply loop as well um, but it's not the same companies it's not the same group or individual trying to uh, make it they're separate so another way to kind of look at it too is like think of this is I want to build rocket launchers okay excuse the dogs bark in the back they should hopefully it's not too loud it's, um think of i want to build rocket launchers like game as a weapon how many players set up their own supply chain their own cost initiative to make the, all the components they need to get a rocket launcher and why they do this is because ultimately in the end you might be putting resources gold and all that in the factories the shipment and parts of that you get the components and parts you need for free at the end so the overall cost and you don't have to look for them they you have them exactly where you're at so what i'm basically doing is i'm tying myself in to an already supply demand which is making tools that the game has created I'm fulfilling that demand to make sure that those tools are always made. And then I'm, then I'm, then I am also making, uh, becoming the seller or the, the customer of those tools and selling them at a profit too. That is how I'm making my economy. But it looks like I'm gonna have to end this video short. Uh, and I'm gonna end it on this note. Uh, it looks like there's stuff going on in real life So in the end Please by all means uh, if you're new here subscribe If if you haven't hit that alert button go ahead and hit that alert button uh, to know when my videos come out Go to the community v Vote which way do you want me to go? Do you want me to go to the center? Do you want me to get into those rifts? I would appreciate your opinion on that. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.